What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today my baby girl over here is gonna be getting zapped. Yeah, I'm gonna get zapped and lasered and it's gonna hurt. When's the last time you had lasered? It's been a while. It's been a zap. Uh, the lens cap. <laughs> you are so not a YouTuber. You just don't care. Um, how do I not care? It was on my lap. You're driving crazy. You're driving so fast. Well, I'm doing the speed limit. No, you're driving too fast because I have to like grip on to the camera. I'm doing 38 and a 35, guys. Yeah. Two. Wait. It. <laughs> I said two. Three miles per hour too fast, sir. Anyway, yeah, it's been like almost a month. <laughs> Do I look like a Karen to you? You acting like one. No, I'm not. All that speed and talk. Anyway, can I talk? I don't know, can you? It's been like three months. It's like, nah, it hasn't been three months. It's been like a month since I got laser. No class. way. Yes, it has. No way, it's definitely been more than a month. It's si every six weeks. So a month and a half. I feel like, no, because I feel like you had to cancel one time too, or you had to no, reschedule. No, I didn't. I feel like it's been like two months, honestly. It hasn't. Well, whatever. So yeah, we are on our way there, and we're just gonna vlog it out. I'm begging Isaiah to take me to Target. Bro, for what? Because! Why, what, can we seriously talk about this? Like, what is girls and their obsession when it comes to Target? I just love Target. Like, I'm not hopping on no damn band bandwagon. No, I've you always are. loved- You are, though. Every How? Girl, I've every always girl, loved Target. Every girl's always loved Target. This okay, is but now I feel like it's like a trend. Bro, because of TikTok. Uh, yeah, I'm just saying, like, I always love Target. Like, I just love going to Target. I hate Walmart. I hate Target. I hate Walmart. I know. I hate Walmart. I, I love hate Target. Everything. Target is so fun. Yeah, when uh, you got money to spend. Yeah, well, um, I think that we're at the point now where we're adults and we can spend our own money. Uh, you're going to be my sugar mama, then let's do it. Okay, you haven't asked me to be your Valentine. Let's talk about that. All right, so we're going to be different this year? We're gonna, what? We're going to sit and act like we care about Valentine's Day all of a sudden? <laughs> After you told me yourself, your words were Valentine's Day should be called head-ass day because everybody I has their anybody... heads up their... I wait. I don't think that now that's a thing that? anymore. You don't think what's a thing anymore? Like that term, head ass. Like nobody uses that word anymore. I don't think that okay. was like a high school term that we used. Well, she always said that she hated Valentine's Day because people made it so extra and it's really not that important. And now, now you're caring about me asking you to be my Valentine after I asked you to be my wife. Yeah, because I'm your fiance now. Exactly. Things are different. Future wife. Exactly, so you need to shower me with flowers and chocolate covered strawberries oh and balloons and I you need to buy uh, the whole state of America for me. I the can't whole state of America, the whole country. <laughs> I can't keep up with you. One year you like Valentine's Day, one year you don't. Next year you want to do this, next year you'll be like, I hate that. I don't understand. I don't think so. I think wow. Valentine's Day has always been dumb to me. But you did surprise me that one time for Valentine's Day. So if you're going to surprise me, why? I did surprise you. Because at that point, I didn't know you hated Valentine's Day. So I was like, I got to do something for her. But then you were you're like, You're lying. Because I used to tell you I hated Valentine's Day in high school. All right. Well, what I did, I would <laughs> consider all grand and whatnot. I literally just got a bunch of balloons in the apartment, rose petals all over the floor, and I got us food. Well, I don't you did think something. So is that what you want? So you want me to do something? No. I don't have to ask you. see what you. I'm talking about? No, because men need to do things on their own. You, you shouldn't have to tell them what they want, what they do. If they're yes, going to do 100%. something, it has to be out of the kindness and the pureness of their heart. 100%. If, exactly. if they understand their woman. I do not understand you because one How? year... One year you say you like it, the next year you say you hate it, and that goes with everything, not just Valentine's Day. That goes with almost everything in life. So I never know with you. Like what? Give me an example. Okay, example. Boom, you've been wanting to go to Mexico. Mm -hmm. You look up the reviews on Mexico. Oh my God, it's so ratchet. So expensive. I never I said ratchet. I never I, said Mexico was ratchet. You babe. said Cancun gets ratchet. Yes, Cancun. That's not all of Mexico. Bruh. I said that there's certain places in Cancun where people want to go and get ratchet. That's what I said. They want to get drunk. They want to get turned. They want to party. I'm not a party gal. So I want somewhere that's chill. You said okay, oh just answer I'm me not this gonna, question. Let, me, let me figure this out do you like valentine's day or not just I don't answer care the question about, I, I think i think valentine's day is cute for the people who make it a big deal i love when people show that they love each other in any form that should be done every single day though that's why i don't like valentine's day 
Do you give me flowers every single day? When is the last time you gave me flowers? Yeah. Is this just something you want? You're making me look like a bad boyfriend here. No, I'm not. A bad fiance. You're making it seem like I don't do anything. I'm not making it seem like that. I'm just saying. Like, I just feel like, you know, for Valentine's Day, people go a little extra. You don't be extra. Do you want me to be extra? No. See what I mean? The, the mixed signals. It's because it's you're the mixed asking signals. I'm me. I'm done with this conversation. The mixed about, signals is crazy. How about you do whatever you want? I'm, I am going to do whatever I want. Okay, then. Y'all get me? Y'all get me? I'm sure like, the guys get me. You shouldn't have to like, be like hinting at shit like, oh, I'm not asking you to hint anything. I, I just want clarity. Chocolate or strawberries. I want clarity. I want to know what you like and what you don't like. And that is what's in the air right now. My guys out there, you see what I'm talking about. She's going back and forth, not being very clear with me. Yes, I am. And then the girls, I'm sure, understand like, okay, yeah, but she's saying this. She wants that. Bruh, the, the clarity is not there for me right now. All right, let's just cut the jokes. Guys, we already said what we're going to do about Valentine's Day. <laughs> this was a joke the whole time. I was being dead serious. What? I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to lie. I thought we were being dead serious. This was a joke to you? Bro, did we not say that we were going to go to the beach and get mad food on Valentine's Day because that's our cheat day? Yes, but I, I didn't know if you were trying to hint at something you wanted. Like, oh, I want the balloons. I want the big stuffed teddy bear in no, the house. Bro. I want the rose petals on the floor with the bath and the candles. I'm like, bro, all right, I understand everything now. <laughs> See, this is the clarity I was asking for. I got it now. Thank you. That's all I needed to know. I'm good now. I thought, yo, this guy, seriously. I'm good now. I know exactly what's going down now. All right. Yeah, so you want to tell them what we're actually doing on Valentine's Day? You just said it. We've been on a health kick. We've been doing our cut. Yes. So what we're going to do is at, at our last day of the cut happens to be on Valentine's Day. So I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, cool. Perfect. We don't like going crazy for Valentine's Day. We don't like going all out, doing all that extra stuff. So we're like, it's let's too just, packed in public. Yeah. You know? The restaurants be booked and it, the people get annoying and I don't want to deal with all that. Right. So figured let's just grab mad food that we like because it's our last day of the cut. So we could cheat. Mm -hmm. We're going to grab mad amazing food that i'm just thinking about right now and we're yeah. just gonna go to the beach and just eat the food at the beach mm -hmm. and just chill just us yeah we're gonna chill in the car and it's gonna probably be chilly we're gonna watch like um the sunset and yeah it's gonna be a vibe like hopefully there's nobody there so that would be even better um but yeah we're gonna get some pizza because we've been craving pizza i'm getting everything um wings because he's been wanting wings from this one spot i'm gonna get some true food because that's chocolate covered strawberries easily given to me without having to struggle to find it, you know, out and about on Valentine's Day. And yeah, we're gonna be chilling. It's gonna be a good time. Well, this was the longest intro we've ever done. I know, we're talking for Welcome like Welcome back minutes. to another video. Welcome <laughs> back to the channel. Um, right now we're on the way to her laser, like she said. Uh -huh. So I guess we'll see you guys when we get there. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I am at my laser place. This little community is so cute. There's a lot of food around here. And it's like, looks like Greek. <sighs> There's like a bar right there, man. I see it's starving. Some wings would be great right now. You is starving, baby. This is this has been bad, like this cut. Yeah, it's been bad for him with food. Like for me, it hasn't really been too bad. More than halfway though. We're more than halfway there. Yeah, the thing that's been tough for me is just like the working out every single day. That's easy. No breaks. More but, opposites. Yeah, it's totally opposites. You're easy with the food. I'm not. I'm easy with the working out. You're not. But yeah, this is like the little bougie area. It's so cute. The bar um, though, the bar. The bar is back there. There's a place right there that says milkshakes. <laughs> God. Y'all, he is terrible. Babe, we're going to get a cheat meal really soon. Like, don't yeah, worry really about it. soon. In about a week. It's not soon enough. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm about to go in because I uh, have to be there at 240. It's 237, so. Go ahead, babe. Go get zapped. I'm not ready for it. <laughs> and there she goes. Y'all already know what's going down by the title and thumbnail of the video. This was not no going to get zapped vlog. This wasn't no daily vlog. None of that. Man, this is me telling her. This is why I don't love you. And I don't know how I'm going to bring that up, but I'm literally going to pick something. I don't know. Maybe when she comes in the car, I'll just be like, why you slammed the door? And then she's like, I didn't slam it, whatever. Why would I slam my own door? And I'll just be like, see, this is why I don't love you. And we're going to get her reaction. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to use that example. I'll find something that I see fit. But yeah, I'm going to wait here for about an hour because that's usually how long it takes. Pray for your boy because I'm hungry and that bar over there is calling my name. Yeah, I'm going to wait here. I'm going to have the camera rolling when I see her leaving, you know, when she comes out. And then 
that I'm just gonna pick a fight, bro. And then I'm just gonna say that this is why I don't love you. And we're gonna get a reaction. If you guys are ready for today's video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below, Team Isaiah, all day, every day. I feel like, I, I feel like my pranks have just been just lately like ooh, but yeah i'll see you guys in about an hour two hours later all right guys so she literally just walked out she's walking to the car right now i'm gonna pretend like i'm talking to you guys doing like a story time kind of thing so i have a reason to be talking to the camera with the camera set up but like yeah that's the that's the reason why i don't really like doing burnouts like that no more hello because my tires just be going like that what story are you telling them how i need to replace my tires on my car because Ugh. burnouts are like not okay anymore yes thank you for realizing that i hate when you do burnouts i'm probably still gonna be doing it but whatever how was laser good i love the girls there like they're so freaking nice they were like complimenting me left and right gassing good. my head up good 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 good, good. <laughs> now the real question is what do you want to eat because i'm starving it has to be healthy though you know it has to be healthy mm, i don't know about that one <laughs> bro my god why are you so extra <laughs> Because you never know what you want to eat. Anytime I ask, guys, anytime I ask her, what do you want to eat? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, bro. Like, that's so irritating at this point. Like, how do you not know? You're a grown woman. Act, you, act like it, bro. Like, I think you're being a little extra. Like, we're in a good mood. Why are you being extra? I am in a good mood, but I'm also hungry. And at the same time, when I ask you what you want to eat, I would think that you would know what you want to eat babe i'm saying Same, i don't, I don't know, know cause we have meal prep at home like okay but no we're out we're out we might as well just like enjoy it like let's try to find a healthy spot like you're you're been you've been around this place before you know the healthy spots around here no just i pick. don't i don't know anything around here we've oh been here like twice God, this is gonna be like an all-day thing now I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna eat guys i'm bro, gonna, I'm gonna really lose not... like five pounds by the end of today just because we're i'm gonna starve I'm, babe it's really not that big of a deal we go home and eat meal prep we don't need to eat i out. want to eat out i want to eat something healthy well then that's your problem you picked what you want to eat then you're yeah, getting that's me a not bad the point mood. though you always say oh i don't know i don't know like bro come on like you're about to be 26 years old you still don't know what you want to eat it's bro? not that i don't care like i can go home right, and eat bro. meal prep like we're supposed right, to whatever. we're still on a cut all right whatever see this is exactly why i don't love you <gasps> what what did you just say what do i look up no like, that ass what did you just say do i look up vegan or like what did you just say what's a me? healthy spot Medita mediterranean you don't even know how to say it right look at you is it mediterranean is Mediterranean that, what? The one, the area that we're around. Is that I'm what not that, answering any of your questions. What did you just say to me, dead ass? I said, what is the place called? Mediterranean. No, you said, this is why I don't love you. Like, that's OD. Just because you want to eat out, go and eat out by yourself. Like, I don't understand why you have to take it there. Like, that's OD. You don't have to say that to me. This is why I don't love you. You don't love me? Next time, just know what you want to eat. I, I, it's what are you like do you not understand i'm going home and eating meal prep i know what i'm going to eat look they have a place over here by bayshore don't talk to me like i really don't want to talk to you right now you literally just said the most messed up thing you could ever say to your girlfriend okay so beyonce you don't love me but you asked me to marry you make that make sense when did i say i don't love you bro you just said that you said this is why i don't love you i never said that yes you did i never said that nah you're looking out the window you're playing with me I'm looking at you the know, window. You're oh. playing with me, you ugly whore. <laughs> uh, no, literally, I looked out the window because I thought you were looking at something out the window. So I'm like, what is she looking at? <laughs> I wasn't trying to like hold my laughter. I was yes, holding it were. together, bro. Then when I turn back and look at you, that's when I freaking laugh. Like, oh my God, man. So you're serious or no? Serious about what? Bro, we have to go home and eat meal prep. Like, stop No, yeah, we're, about to, we're gonna go home. We're gonna eat meal prep, baby. It's just a prank. It's so corny. Like, <laughs> ugh, don't it's say It's corny, that to but me. look how wound up she got. Because you don't say that to me. Obviously, that's the point. Now kiss my hand. Absolutely and tell me not. that's no, why. You're not, you're, about to you're not about to treat me like that. Nah, <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, nah. You can say, kiss my hand. Kiss the ring type. Nah. Yeah, bro. exactly. Kiss, nah. kiss the ring. Nah. I'm good. Say I'm the baddest, no. juice, most juiciest booty you've ever seen in your life. I'll be the judge of that when we get home. Oh, okay. I got to see how it looks after laser. What? I gotta see. I gotta feel. I gotta oh my do my God. own inspection. All right. I gotta be the one to, you know, see if this is all worth it or not. Yeah. She actually told me that. She was like, "Told you what? Wait, she what?" Said, she said, "Tell your fiance to check like where you grow hair, where you don't grow hair, because apparently I don't grow that much hair to begin." Like, see, when you put it like that, it just sound weird. <laughs> all right, guys. I guess we'll see y'all when we get home. Cause this is just getting weird. All right, guys. Finally made it back home. It took like an hour of driving because the traffic is just stupid. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Team Isaiah back with another dub. I hope you heard that. Another Whatever. dub. 
With all that being said, guys, again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you guys comment down below. Team Isaiah all day, every day. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Anything else you'd like to say? No. Yeah, hold that. Oh. We'll see you guys in the next video.